Hi, my name is Terry Breeson with Sato America. I'm the Western Regional Sales Manager for the U.S. and also Western Canada. What I'd like to do is show you a few minutes our GL408E printer. This printer, I have to say, is one of the most versatile printers on the market and also easy to maintenance and very versatile in how it handles media. One of the key things it does is really unique is the fact it has five different emulations resident inside the printer. It's very easy to change those emulations. And as you can see, it's a very graphable, graphical control panel. You can select emulations, then as you can pan through a number of different emulations and select them if you choose. Okay, it's that easy to select them and go online and uh, select that emulation. Okay, so that shows that it has a lot of different brains inside the printer for emulating capabilities. Also, it's versatile in handling media. It can handle face-in or face-out label stock. It's a double-clutching ribbon mechanism, so it can handle face-in or wound-in or wound-out ribbons as well. Looks like people are printing to it as we go. Okay, it also is RFID upgradable and can be upgradable in the field after the original printer was purchased. Uh, lastly, a couple more things as far as maintenance goes. You can press the little button right here with the print head up, and the print head will just drop down without the use of tools. Uh, easy to replace. The cables to the print head are long, so you're not working inside the print mechanism. And lastly, you, you loosen that Phillips screw, rotate that flange, and the flatten roller comes right out. Both these operations can be done in under a minute. It's the bottom line is the printer is quite versatile. There's 203 DPI, 10 inches a second, 305 DPI, 10 inches a second. So very, very versatile in the marketplace for a list price of $16.95. For more information about the printer and to contact different sales representatives, you can contact uh, Sato at sotoamerica.com to get to our regional sales folks. Thanks.